Hi there, my front end friends, and thank you so much for coming to join me for yet another video. The other day I was doing this challenge on I Code This, and I'll talk more about what that is in a second, but this was the layout that we wanted to build, and I came pretty close. I changed the content a little bit because I didn't have the image, so I made it about coffee instead. Um, and I got down to these two buttons down here, and I had a little bit of an issue with them where I need them to stretch out, right? They should be taking up more room than they're taking right now. So I said, okay, well, I can do that by coming on that. So we can say flex group um, star, because actually, let's just go look really fast at my HTML. So I have my flex group here, and then in there, I have my one button there, my next button there. So the display flex makes sense, the gap on there makes sense. Uh, and then what I wanted to do is to make them uh, the same size. I'm like, well, maybe I could just do a flex grow of one. And that sort of gets me a little bit of the way there, but there's an issue because they're not the same size because flex grow grows at the same rate. So the smaller one will stay smaller <laughs> than the bigger one. So that's not good. But I was like, well, wait, maybe what I could do is instead of a flex grow one, I could do a flex one because a flex one is a flex grow of one, a flex shrink of zero and a flex basis of zero. And because the flex basis of both of them is the same, they're actually the same size now. Except now we get this issue that they're kind of ugly when they get sort of squishy <laughs> like that, right? It doesn't look great. Uh, and of course, then it, it gets really bad uh, at these smaller sizes. I even have a media query here where I want to switch things, but like I need to fix that. So I need them to wrap. So oh, I need them to wrap. That's not a problem. I can do a flex flex. You got to spell it right, but I can do a flex wrap of wrap and then awesome. Now it will work, but it, okay. It's better hundred percent, but I really don't like this. <laughs> this to me is like, okay, I want that to happen, but only if they have to like here, when we're at like a really small screen size and I'm just running out of room. Sure, but when I'm like here, I don't really want that to happen and I wasn't sure what to do, but then I had an idea and it turns out that it works. And what that is, is we just come here and we give it a min width and min width is cool because um, even though I have a flex here, which means I have a flex basis, min and max width overwrite flex basis. So I can give something a min width. So let's say I give this a min width of like 500 pixels for now. Uh, and it's going to make them really big because even though um, my flex ones here and even it's just come and say this is a flex shrink of one because uh, this actually turns off flex shrink, but they won't shrink because we have a min width on there. So we can't shrink lower down than that. So we have a min width of 500, but I don't want that obviously. So what value would I want to put here? Well, what I'm going to use is fit content, which is uh, a really cool property. And as soon as I put that, and I'll explain why this is working in a second, but you can see that now what's happening is as soon as we start running out of room, they don't do that weird wrappy thing, they stack. And then we go down further and further, and then it just so happens that my, my media query broke there, but it worked out well. But if ever they run out of room, uh, so once again here, as they run out of room, they'll stack. And then when they get down to this last worst case scenario, then they get the little wrappy text. Um, there is one downside, well, downside to this, which is just at the smallest sizes here, like this button is smaller than that one. They're not perfectly equal because this one's already hit its minimum size and this one hasn't hit that minimum size yet. So that is one thing that can happen here. But for me, this is like the best case scenario of all the different stuff we could do here. No media queries required or anything. Super cool, super handy. And the reason this works is because the way fit content works, where the content will be basically one line of text unless there's not enough room for that one line of text, in which case things will start to wrap. But it's always going to try and keep the width of the thing at the width of the text with no line breaks, unless there's really no uh, you know, no option. And I wasn't sure if this would work as a min width. I never did that before, and it did, and I'm super happy, so I wanted to share it with you today. And if you want all the code for this, I'll put it linked down below, and I'm also gonna put the link to iCode this down below as well if you wanna check it out, because it's a nice site that has lots of coding challenges where they give you different things, uh, and you come in and you can try and build these layouts, and it's a built-in code editor, so you click on the one that you want, edit challenge, and then you're in there. You can also go look at other people's challenges, submit yours, get feedback, all sorts of stuff like that. You can sign up for free. And if you'd like, they also have a pro account where you get access to like much bigger challenges. You get the full back catalog of all their previous challenges. They have some learning paths and some other stuff. There's lots of really good stuff there. I do want to let you know though that the link down below is an affiliate link. So if you do sign up with that, it's at no extra cost to you, but you're also helping support my channel, which of course I'd appreciate. And if you like this video and you like tips and tricks and other things like this, you'll probably like this video that is right here as well. And with that, I would like to thank Philip, Andrew, Simon, and Tim, who are my enablers of awesome over on Patreon, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more 
awesome.